All right, we are playing some Tristana mid. Our runes are PTA, Triumph, Alacrity, Coup de Gras, Demolish, and Bone Plating. She is extremely strong early game. And the good thing about Tristana is she's, when you play her mid, she's good early game, mid game, and late game. Let's see, I'll show you guys. We'll destroy this assassin. I'm gonna kill some of the minions. In the first wave. I might try and all in her level 1. I see she has a Doran shield. I'm not sure if we'll win the trade 100%. But we probably will because we have pressed the attack. If she walks up to this minion, I'll do it. Alright. We got the slow. Here comes the press the attack. Three autos. Boom. Big chunk of her health gone. But yeah, every time I play this mid, I have so much fun. And I do so much damage. It's becoming one of my new favorite mid picks. Okay, she has no potion now. She also pushes really hard, which is good because no other ADC has as much pushing power and as much all in as her. Okay, we have level 3 now. We do a ton of damage. We have to watch out for that Darius jungle, though. If my jump's down and he catches me, I'll lose so much health. More auto? No. She's pretty tanky. I think she has armor runes. Okay, Darius is top. Pretty sure Mundo's dead here. I'm jumping in. Nice, we hit the slow. Oh, she wants to fight. I took a turret shot. I think she's dead. Yeah, I didn't have to flash. Awesome. I took a turret shot there and I still won that. That's how strong Trist is. Versus an assassin. I don't think I got first blood. Darius got it. And then you take Demolish and Bone Plating, so you win trades with Bone Plating. Because there's not really anything in this other trees you could take. And then Demolish just helps you shred turrets, and you already shred turrets as Triss. But we can't get a Plating yet, it's too early. They have protection until 5 minutes. I'm just going to try and clear this wave as fast as possible. I'm going to save my jump just in case Darius is here. I'm going to stay one more wave. It'll get me closer to my item. And I can maybe pick up boots also. Okay, Darius is here. Yeah, if he flash, I got to flash quick too. Or else I'll die there. So that's not the worst. I'm actually going to stay still. Because I'm not super low on health. And under my turret, she's not going to be able to do anything. The explosion from killing a minion actually does more damage than the auto attack itself. So sometimes it's better to... The last hit a minion next to something. He sins here, but he's going to walk over a pink. Or, he went all the way around it. I don't want to go in first, because she has Ignite. There we go. Now we can go in. Oh, that revealed her. Nice. Good play. Okay, we have ult now, so we can push people back, like Darius, who gank us. And the ult has a really high base damage. Okay, looks like this wave will crash in, so I'm going to recall. And I have enough for my first item, which is a Cutlass. It's a really good item. Gives us AD, life steal, so we can sustain in lane. Plus an active, which slows. And then I'm going to grab some boots also. So this will help our all-in. 
And plus, they got some tanks. This item's really good versus tanks, and it's good versus squishies. It's a pretty good all-around item on Triz. It's not good to go crit right away, because then you don't have uh, lifesteal. You really need sustain when you're fighting people like this. She stunned me. She stunned me twice there. But we'll heal up all that damage she just did. Once my jump's up again, I'm gonna go all in. I can maybe kill her if I get enough. Get enough autos off. I'm gonna ward this bush. That's where he came last time. Oh, it's pink. I think both the bushes are pink, so I'll go clear the other one too. jump in, get some poke. Okay, good thing I didn't ult. She was a little tanky there. But we barely dodged her ult. She just missed. Didn't shove us into the wall all the way. Darius doesn't have flash. I could also beat the Darius. He's, he's not that tanky yet. But I can't beat both of them at the same time. I still have my ignite and ult, so if she tries to trade with me again like that, she's gonna lose. Yeah, she's dead here. Boom. Okay, let's grab this. Let's use our demolish. There we go. I think I could fight the Darius. I'm level 8, he's level 5. So if he walks up to this wave, I'm just gonna YOLO it all in him. I think he knows better though. Let's try and get this plating. I'm gonna use my E and my Q. I think that should get it. Oh, it's one health. I should have autoed it one more time. I canceled it. He's not gonna let me get it. Darn you, Darius. Okay, we'll get it now. He's going around though. So I just have to get this and dip. I don't know where Kiana is. There she is. Is our recall in the air? Oh, that's cool. It like puts the ground in the middle of the air because it bugged out. All right. I'm gonna grab another dagger because it's gonna build into our boots. Since I don't have enough to finish the blade, we will definitely have enough for it though. Since it's only 700, I might as well just build the dagger, extra dagger for the boots. So we have the early lead with Tristana. Every game I've played this, I've gotten the early lead just because she's so strong. I think she has the stun up. I'm going to wait and see. Here. Where'd she go? She's going to flash over the wall, so I'm actually going to try and predict that. Okay, well... My prediction was incorrect. Oh, I wanted to ult Cho'Goth next to him. Nice. I have jump up again. He's dead. Hey, Mundo's tanking. Holy shit, he almost got me. If he would have ate me there, I would have died. He was a lot tankier than I thought. Okay, let's recall. Let's go get that blade. The wave's gonna slow push into me mid. Let's grab this. And... One more dagger, because it's gonna turn into a, a Phantom Dancer, which is our next item. After the boots. Sterics first. Just so I don't kill her anymore. 
Honestly, that's smart of her because if she went full lethality, I'd just straight up one shot her because I have a nice lead. But the Blade of the Rune King is going to do some work for that extra health. Where did she go? Her bottling, I'm coming. I can't just jump into this. I'll go back mid. We could probably take her full turret now if she doesn't get here fast enough. I just have to wait for my next wave. I didn't use my E because when it exploded it would have got aggro. We do good damage to Cho'Goth. If Darius is here, then I'm dead if I jump on her, but Pantheon's also coming. It kind of tells me that there's more. I really want to jump in. It's been too long. There's Darius. Nice, he's dead. I didn't want to jump in because I saw a Kali last second. Yana still has her ult, so I don't want to get shoved against the wall. But I can pop this Akali as long as she doesn't go invisible as soon as I jump in. We do really good damage to her, actually. There we go. We can jump again. She only has enough mana for ult. That's it. Okay, now she doesn't have enough mana to ult. But she's probably a lot faster than me. But in 13 seconds, we'll have jump. Oh, she's going to jump over this wall. Shoot. <laughs> oh, she thought I was going to jump over the wall, but it wasn't even up. That's actually hilarious. I've never had that happen. She outplayed herself. Shred your turret. Now I'll kill you. I oh, insta flashed. He would have lost that. I'm huge. I'm level 11. With this build and this champion mid, you just snowball super hard. Like I said, you're always strong throughout the game. If you get an early lead, which you do because she's one of the strongest early game champs, it's just easy to keep that lead. Okay, let's go buy. We have 3,000 gold. Oh shoot. I think they got him though. Oh, almost. Okay, let's grab this uh, Phantom Dancer and our attack speed boots. Now we attack really fast. See, now Kiana has a problem where she's pretty tanky, but she doesn't do any damage. It's only downside. Not building full lethality on her. Alright. Cho'Gath just killed Mundo. I'm going to take red and go hunt him down. If he stays top. I don't attack move, if you haven't noticed. I'm not really... I need to practice. I don't play ADCs enough to actually get used to using it. That's why I, ADCs are my least favorite to play, but with this, Tristana makes it pretty easy. 
I don't have to kite too hard. jump. Oh, the Phantom Dancer saved me. Awesome. Darn. I couldn't auto Darius, so I jumped in and I think I got stunned by Pantheon. That's kind of stupid of me. We got her. Okay. What we're grabbing next is, you guessed it, Infinity Edge. Poor Kiana. Ain't having a good game versus this. I just need a point in the right direction. Yeah, the only thing you can't do is Tristan amid is just jump into like four bruisers. You're really good 1v1. You're not that good 1v4 unless you like Get them one at a time. But if all of them are jumping on me at the same time, you have to just jump out and kite back. Let's see if their red buffs up. Darius has it actually. Hopefully he doesn't have any friends next to him. Give me a crit. There we go. Red buff refresh. We'll go for Cho'Gath first. Front to back jump. Where is she? I jumped before it reset, or after it reset. Jumped a little bit too late. Nice. Go push this mid in so we get this inhib. And a GG. This is my second time trying to record this. Both games, we just win so fast because we get that early lead. But I'm going to take this one. This one is a little, bit, a little bit longer than the other one. But you win, you'll win your games very fast with this build. And even if you make it to late, you're going to be super strong too. As long as you play safe. And just all in when it's a 1v1. But let's see the damage. While we're checking out the damage charts, if you guys could like the video, drop a comment below if you enjoyed it. Tell me what you want me to play next. Give me some ideas. And make sure you subscribe. We did 20k damage at 18 minutes. ETA did an extra 1700 damage for us. And Malish did 1500. Anyway, you guys have a great night. Thank you for watching me. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video.